When it comes to a new Call of Duty launch, there is so much stuff to dig into, so much to learn about, but the thing that I'm always maybe the most intrigued by is the camos. Maybe they're the same way as me, but today we're gonna be breaking down the new camo system here, how it's kind of a hybrid of what we've seen in the past and everything that comes along with it, plus what those mastery camos are for both MP and zombies. As we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of these camos? Do you like the look of them? Do you like the challenges? Maybe not so much. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Let's aim for 2,000 likes on this video. And if we're getting ambitious, let's aim for 3,000. You guys have been crushing it lately, so maybe we can do that. But if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss a single thing regarding all things Vanguard. Launch is just kicking off here. We have so much you do not want to miss. So if you're part of that 60% of viewers that are not subscribed and want to join us on the road to half a million subscribers while staying up to date with everything you need to, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you in the community. But said, let's talk about these camos and what you can expect from this year's grind. So first things first to touch on, all of this is pending no day one patch that nukes the build that we had in our pre-release capture session. So fingers crossed, none of this has changed since then. But talking about the systems in place here for camos, it's kind of a hybrid system between Modern Warfare and Black Ops Cold War. What we'd seen in the past two years, taking a little bit of both elements there. Firstly, we see that the unlock quantity and challenges are very similar to what we saw in Modern Warfare, but their unlock structure is similar to Black Ops Cold War's camo challenges. We end up seeing that you end up getting camos at different tiers, unlocking every certain number of levels, upwards until those max levels you end up seeing for primaries. With weapon levels going up to 70 for primaries, 60 for pistols, you'll see those sectioned off a little bit differently. Though, get this, because there is a little bit of some oddities here at this. The max level for launchers and melees is level one, meaning that you don't have to grind launchers or your secondary melee weapon to unlock their camo challenges. All you have to do is jump in and actually just start working towards them. Not to mention those only also have five challenge sets as opposed to the full 10 that other weapons have, making them much easier to tackle this year as opposed to years in the past for those same weapons. But talking about these camos in their individual camo sets, breaking it down a little further, Firstly, we have the pack tacticals. These are your standard eliminations. Then we have the surgical, which those are your standard headshots. Then predatory ambition. These require multi kills, which is essentially just two or more kills within Vanguard. Reptilian then requires five kills without dying X amount of times. Deadeye requires long range kills. Berserker requires point blank kills. Wildcat requires eliminations with 10 attachments equipped. And then we start to get some weird changeovers from stuff we haven't seen introduced just yet. There's no things like mounting or anything like that for these weapon challenges, but instead we have weapon build specific challenges with the survivalist category starting out with getting ADS kills with the Kroznak 220 Rapid Barrel, the 762 Garenko 30 Round Mag, and a few others. So that is something that is weird because you have to custom tailor a weapon build to get these challenge sets done. Then we have Mind Games, which is getting three headshots with the Kroznak 620 Precision Barrel, 30 Russian Short, 30 Round Mag, and a few others, but you'll start to see that these have deviations not just for those weapons alone, but for most weapons, with the MP40 in that same category requiring you to get kills without taking damage from enemies with the VDD 285mm Shrouded Barrel, 726 Garenko 32 Round Mag, and the Unmarked Perk Equipped. So these definitely have some weird individual basis, but really will knock you off course from what you may be used to using in your weapon builds. Takes you out of that comfort zone. And finally, Death Artist has things, again, continuing that on where the STG had get kills while moving with the 30 Russian short 20 round mag, Constan's tactical, and a few other modifications as well. So I'm not really sure how I feel about these ones. That is just some strange camo challenges that come across with it. I guess it may be better than mounting, but that comes down to personal preference here if you like having to build a specific weapon loadout to complete challenges. But anyways, these combine to give you 100 base camos just like Modern Warfare did, but then with the goal of mastery camos afterwards. We'll touch on those in just a second because those get really interesting and fun in my opinion, but you'll also see some slight deviations based on the weaponry in the category of weapons. But again, coming back to it, I think I think the interesting part comes down to launchers and melees. Again, only having five categories, which are immediately unlocked since level one is the max for launchers, and it seems to be the case for the knife as well. If you try and take a look at the next attachment, that unlock for the melee will then boot you back to the main menu, so it's bugged. But anyways, the launchers have the pack tacticals, which requires you to get upwards of 100 eliminations, the surgical category, which requires you to get upwards of 100 enemy kill streak equipment or field upgrade destructions, predatory ambition, which tasks you with destroying up to 50 ground kill streaks or field upgrades, reptilian, which tasks you with destroying 50 enemy aerial kill streaks, and deadeye, which is destroying three enemy kill streaks in a single game upwards of 30 times. 
Now, as for that knife, the melee, that's where we see the pack tactical requires you to get 50 eliminations total. Surgical requires you to get 50 backstabber medals total. Predatory ambition sees you getting upwards of 30 slide kills. Reptilian upwards of 30 double kills and Deadeye upwards of 30 kills while an enemy is stunned or flashed. So truthfully, while launchers are some of the most tedious and annoying things, same with melees, this year they may not be so bad, knock on wood at least. But that said, if you complete all those weapon camo challenges for a specific weapon, you're then granted gold camo as you always are. Gold this year has a bit more vibrance than what we saw compared to things like Modern Warfare's and has a bit more of that flowing feel to the design as well. Kind of looks a little bit waved. I quite like the look of this personally. Feel free to let me know how you feel about it down there in the comments below. But then if you complete all weapon camo challenges for every weapon of a singular weapon category, gold for every weapon of that, either your ARs, SMGs, LMGs, snipers, and so on, you're met then with a reward of diamond camo. And this diamond camo actually looks good in my opinion on this engine. Don't get me wrong, Black Ops Cold War's diamond camo looked great in Cold War, but when it came to Warzone and played on the Modern Warfare engine, it looked atrocious by comparison almost not worth even putting on. But this looks way better, looks like World War II's diamond camo a bit, and that's gonna look a lot better in Vanguard's engine and the Warzone integration this time around. But if you're a camo grinder and you grind out every single camo in the game for every weapon among every weapon class, you're then rewarded with the coup de gras, the new mastery camo, Atomic. This is really interesting looking at first, and it's kind of grown on me a bit. It's essentially Damascus, but with a bit more vibrance in the color, mixed with an animation of, say, DM Ultra in design from Cold War, just sort of sweeping across the weapon. Like I said, it's grown on me, and the more I look at it, I actually quite like it. I'm definitely gonna be grinding it out this year, and just know we'll have a ton of guides for you guys all throughout the year, so stick around here on the channel. But that's your mastery camos for Vanguard and the challenges along the way. But just like Cold War, again, coming back to that hybrid, you do have zombies camos to grind out as well that will be unlockable and look to be usable in MP as well. So these challenge sets are all the same in name, but slightly altered in design and in challenge requirements. The pack tacticals, these are your standard eliminations on zombies. Surgicals, these are your standard critical kills, otherwise your headshots. Predatory Ambition, these require pack-a-punched eliminations much more than Cold War, maxing out at upwards of 4,000 elims. Reptilian sees you with getting 10 rapid kills upwards of 50 times. Deadeye requires you to get 2,000 eliminations as a result of an equipped covenant. Berserker requires you to get upwards of 100 Boomschreier eliminations. Wildcat requires you to get upwards of 20 Sturmkrieger eliminations. Survivalist requires you to get upwards of 2,000 eliminations with 7 attachments equipped on your weapon. Mind Game requires you to get 3 or more rapid rapid critical kills upwards of 30 times, kind of a twist on the similar challenge of last year, minus the crits part. And then finally, Death Artist sees you with getting 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit upwards of 20 times. So very similar to what you may be familiar with, with Black Ops Cold Wars zombies challenges, but at the same time, way more in terms of what is required. Now, the Mastery Camos, these return from Black Ops Cold War and the Dark Aether storyline in name, but slightly different. These now mimicking the designs of the MP Camos from Vanguard, but also still holding the same name as the Cold War ones. You have Golden Viper, Plague Diamond, and Dark Aether. Golden Viper is a bit more of that auburn hue to the gold camo that we have from MP. Plague Diamond being a somewhat tinted version of the Diamond camo, but with a rose gold finish and accent as well. And then Dark Aether being a bit more of a green variation for what you have of Atomic. Truth be told, I like all of these. Honestly, I may actually be grinding out both MP and Zombies this year. I know I said I was going to do it last year, but I actually like both sides of these camos. DM Ultra last year didn't impress me a whole ton, but really liking the offering so far from Vanguard. So may end up being a long grind for me here over the course of the next couple of months. But anyways, that is the camos here that we have for Call of Duty Vanguard and what you can grind out, how you can get them and everything in between. So that's where we're going to wrap it up. I would love to use your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Do you like these camos? Do you think these challenges are fair, a little bit crazy, a little bit out there, a little bit too much? Whatever the case may be, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss a single thing regarding all things Vanguard, MP, Zombies, and of course, the Warzone integration in a couple of weeks. We'll keep you up to date with everything. So if you want to stay up to date with all of that, join us on that road to 500,000 subscribers. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to chat with me outside of YouTube. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever the case may be, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.